everybody, I'm Chesco and this is in the mix. We'll make a quick flashback with Felix the house cat. It was the first place where you have a role. Can you tell us a little bit about this beginning? Uh, I met Felix the house cat in New York in 2001, and we became really good friends. I uh, was in his and his, his album called Devin Dazzle and Neon Fever. And after that, I met Christian Castaño, with whom I uh, started to do my second album called Nativo Terror. <laughs> In 2006, start this boom with Te Quiero Mucho, Dinosaurio, uh, later Mio. How was this roller coaster? How do you keep your foot on the ground? Uh, well, no, you never expect that the songs you write, like when you were like super young, became, become uh, hits in Colombia and in South America. But it was really cool. So it, was, it was a very exciting and. Um, uh, it was great to hear it in the radio for the first time and it was great to go all around South America and uh, see everybody singing my songs. It was very, very, very emotional. Later, in 2010, you say, hey, enough. I want to make music by my own and you launch Adicta. Uh, it was a great album. I, I was still with Sony Music when I got to record with Joe Arroyo, who, was a very, who is a very important person in the music business in Colombia. He even invented his own uh, genre, which is called the Joy Son. And I got to make a song with him uh, after, uh, before I broke up with Sony Music and I went independent. <laughs> So it was very cool that I got to um, make, a, make a song for my album Addicta with him, with Tostao from Chuck It Down, who also got a nomination from the, for the Grammys. It was very, very cool that this album was like a mix between what I had felt coming back to Colombia after I lived in New York for so many years, and I got to do so many duets with all these people that are like super Colombian. But it was very hard to put the album by myself, like independent, because I was used to like, being with a label that is so big and does everything for you but it was also something that uh, i needed to go through to like appreciate what the music can give you and and how hard it is to make it on your own it was very very cool it was a test for me as, a, as an artist and from that we have now at the sherry at the top 2012 the album coraje and the songs manifest more in now sexo quesana. This is an album that is like what the name says, courage. It means coraje in, in, in Spanish. And it's a, it's a word that defines what I've been doing the past lifetime that I've been working in the music business. And more after I got uh, like away from, from the label because you have to have a lot of courage to be in this business. You have to be very strong to be an artist, an independent artist. and after uh, so many like trial and error, trial and error, some things go and some things don't. So you have to be really strong in, 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 your, in your mind and in your soul to keep on going. And that's what courage means for me. So every time I, I, I hear that song that is going to be in the album called Courage, or every time I hear that word, it gives me a little bit more of, of the, of the como decimo, like what we say in Colombia, berraquera, like berraquera. balls to like keep on going. <laughs> We were talking before we started about a trilogy in these videos. Well, uh, I met Christian Castillo, who's called DJ Phoenix, and we started making uh, three videos that are going to be part of like a little short film that we're going to show on, the, on, on here in, in Colombia. It was very cool to make these videos in my favorite part of Colombia that is called La Sierra Nevada. It's, it's the peak, the, the highest peak ne near the, the ocean in the world, and it's a, it's a place that is very magical for me. And so it's a, it's a story about this, this man that has to go through a transformation 
and um, that's what I've been going through like spirituality finding your your voice your your not being attached to so many material things but leaving all that behind to go into another dimension that is a, a, a more spiritual one so it was very cool for me to start directing again because my my dream right now is after this album courage comes out next year is going to be to make a film uh, like a, as a director and it's something that I've wanted to do all my life since I went to school in New York for film and um, I have a passion I, I have a passion for for filmmakers and movies and I hope I can make this before I'm 35. <laughs> Me dejaste con la boca abierta, caminaste por mi lado y yo quería entregarme a ti. What weekends better? Around the world, I hope I can see you in the uh, United States or I hope I can see you in Europe or in Latin America because I'm going to be touring a lot with this album and um, it's a very m much more electronic album and much more dance album that I'm, it comes back to my roots of Felix the House Cat and I'm very happy about that and also uh, I'm going to start making what is going to be my first feature film as a director, writer and uh, producer. Okay, now the final proof of life gave us three songs that everybody should know and you just love at your playlist. Oh, three songs that I love that you have to have to hear is uh, Te Quiero Mucho from Nati Botero. You can find it on iTunes. Uh, you also have to hear Esta Noche Es Nuestra, a song that I did with Joey Arroyo. And you also, uh, can I say all, oh, from other artists too? And you also have to hear Fuego by Bomba Stereo, which I love, a band that is very n well known here in Colombia. Okay, Nati, thank you so much. Thank you. Now you got it. This is Nati Botero for the NTN24 News Team and Chesco. Sigue tu intuición, tu cuerpo es tu templo, dale sexo con amor. Soy un enfermo sexual y tú tienes la vacuna que me puede sanar. This has been a presentation of the NTN24 News Team in Bogota, Colombia.